Welcome back, Super Geek Friends. This is Caitlin. And this is Chad. Why did I not get the memo of dramatic intro? Dramatic. And this is Chad. Welcome back to Super Geek Friends. Welcome back to Super Geek Friends Radio. Today we have uh, no special guests. Actually, we do, Chad. Do it's, we? Uh, we have Creep in the studio with us today. Oh, that's lovely. I'm so glad we have Creep in the studio. Creep, please tell us some uh, words of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we were on the same wavelength on that one. And we blew out the microphone. Good for us. <laughs> Everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Last time we were talking about cartoons, a lot of cartoons. Yes, yes. Um, but that was an enjoyable conversation. That was an enjoyable conversation. But um, there's another one I wanted to bring up that yes. I fucking love. Okay. Amazing World of Gumball. Yes. Fantastic cartoon was, series. So to give a little preface, um, I think we've talked about I had to it talk you into that exactly. series. Exactly. We, we talked about it before, but during our lunch break at work, we need like a little bit of a break. So we always watch cartoons. Um, so we... Cause we're adults! Yeah, we can watch our <laughs> when we want! I pack my old lunch and everything! Yep. Uh, I tie my shoes and dress myself, I'm an adult. <laughs> I, I put my pants on the same way everyone else does. Both <laughs> feet flying in. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so for the longest time I felt it was like one of those really just stupid shows. Like a, like a Spongebob in a way. And to be fair, it has at some face at face value. Yeah. It can it appears to be a very dumb show. Right. So it took a little convincing and then we finally watched it and I'm like, holy crap, this is amazing. Because of there's so many great puns. Like there was one today that Chad and I died at. I'm a graphic designer. Chad's oh a graphic god, design. that was hilarious. Oh, it was so good. Chad is like a graphic design video guy. Um, animation. Animation also. So. Fuck, I need to find the line. But basically, Gumball was, like, talking about going to college. And he's like, you know, with people going to college, they need to stop going to these, like, trade schools to become, like, graphic designers and shit like that. Because, like, the last thing this world needs was something about Some more being a street, street artist. artist with a profession. And I was like, oh! oh! That was so bad. It hurt so bad. But it was so good. And they did the same, they did another animation joke, like, a couple seasons back. When, like, the whole world was falling apart. Yeah. And literally, like, they, it, it, it wasn't just, like, the world. It was, like, the animation was yeah. falling apart. So, like, they went from... They lost their in-betweens and were just key poses. Right. And then they lost their and, fill. And then they became like the sticky note um, thumbnail Yeah, storyboards. they became storyboards. And then they were nothing but sticky note sketches. It oh, was so funny. It was so good. And I, it was so surprising because there's so many of those like really satirical jokes in there. That like you almost kind of need to know. Yeah, like if you, for kids, no one's going to pick that up. Well, like the, even like the 3D models became like, it It showed you like a render inside of Maya. And if you wouldn't have known that, like right. you wouldn't have known what the hell you were even looking at. Right. You would be like, oh, they're doing something. Uh. Oh, it was very I kind of wish that they did um, a joke about it crashing. Like the Maya program Oh, that would have been hilarious. Crashing. I can't tell you how many times episodes of Super Geek Friends have crashed in the middle of a render. Well, there's that. And then like when I was in college um i did a video game course and we had to make a lot of 3d renders mm -hmm. actually the uh, um one of our editing computers has all my 3d renders on it oh um, it does I, I i haven't looked at them but i've seen the files yeah, some of them are really shitty so just ignore them um but i had maya crash on me multiple time. times and i would lose a whole project like That's days always work. render targa files because you can always pick up right where you left off oh, okay. if it crashes because targa is basically an image file so you're creating an image sequence oh, okay yeah i, I learned that. that the hard way too it was so funny we're going to an art institute um because you always knew when it was finals because literally you'd walk into a computer lab and every single computer had a, like a note on it saying rendering do not touch please do not touch and i'm sure there was just there was one dick that was like that was just cancel. like cancel or shut down the computer oh, or whatever. I would hate whoever that is. But I know with uh, it was the same with graphic design school. We had like maybe two labs, for Ouch. the whole school. Ouch! And each one had maybe like ten computers. Wow! And you could literally camp there all day, and it was terrible. I'm sure people did. Yeah, they did. So they would leave a little sign like reserved and then they'd leave all their shit all over the counter and i'm like come on man i need to just i just need to print something i don't even need to work on it i just need this computer because like there was only two graphic design labs and then they had the big main computer labs yeah but that's like a walk away and i was like i got class in like five minutes i gotta so, print this whoop. so you were there were separate buildings yeah okay. so um at asu the how it worked oh that's right you went to asu i'm right. sorry no it's all right 
the the buildings were there was the um, north and south design buildings, and then uh, there was like an art building, another art building, and then like Neeb Hall or something, which was like a big uh, auditorium okay. style thing. Yeah. But yeah, so in the uh, south building was the two computer labs and a cafe, and like the north building had like the library and like. Gotcha. Wait, no, I'm mixing that up. Sure. Whatever. Okay. There, there was two separate buildings, <laughs> but they only had like one computer lab. That each. seems awkward. Well, computer labs with the equipment or the programs that you need. Right, right. Okay. Exactly. That makes a lot more sense. Right. So the those ones had like Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, like what you needed. Yeah. But then the main campus computer labs only had like the basics, like Word, Excel, the shit that everyone would use. So. It was always funny, like walking into different labs at my school because like, excuse me, like, this was, you would go in there and you'd realize, like, they were all the same setup, more or less, but you would know, like, oh, this is the interior designer's lab. Oh, oh yeah. this is the gaming student's lab. Mostly because that one smelt the worst. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like, that room got warm, and I was in there a few times, and it was so funny, because I would be in there because all the other labs were taken, so I'd be with these guys, and I had a lot of friends that were in game art and design. We actually take some of the same classes being in animation. Yeah. So, um, it was funny because everybody would be working on their 3D models, and it's interesting because most of the, the game art and design students, they make 3D models as low poly as possible, whereas animation students make everything as high poly as possible. Right. Obviously because the game art kids are gonna be putting into a video game engine. Well, I think they always used Unreal. Mm -hmm. And then, obviously, us, we're just doing one render, so who gives a shit? Right, just might as well. <laughs> exactly. Make it the best. Um, I was always enamored by how they can make such beautiful pieces with such low poly counts. Mm -hmm. So that always astounded me. So I, I have a lot of respect for the game art and design students, and then even further respect when I actually went into the video game industry. But um, it was really funny, because as soon as the instructor left, literally a second after the door closes, alt-tab, Everybody's playing Team Fortress. Oh my god. Everybody. Everyone had Every it? single person was playing Team Fortress. And I swear, someone had precognition Spider-Man-like senses because they all knew when to alt-tab right back before the door opened again. Jeez. It was impressive. That is. It was a symphony of keyboard They all keyboard had like strokes. a mind meld. It was amazing. Oh, it was so good. It was hilarious. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I don't have anything cool like that for, like, in our design class, I would always see, like, I love my teacher. His name was, uh, his nickname was Yoshi because his whole oh, last yeah. name was like Yoshimata or something like that. I remember you telling me about this. Yeah. He was a cool guy, but he never checked anyone's computer. <coughs> so like I'm sitting there trying to pay attention and like right next to me, someone's playing like World of Warcraft ah, and I'm shit. like, shit, I kind of want to watch you play this. No, no, gotta pay attention. That was really tough. Did I tell you who um, my animation teacher was? Yeah. Wasn't it someone from, um, the, who worked the... in Fox yes, animation? Yes, yes. So he worked on, um, he worked on Tainei, and he worked on Anastasia. Mm -hmm. And the first time I met him, he was wearing a Bartok shirt. Oh. And I freaking love Bartok, right? Yeah. So the first day of class, he gives us an assignment. And I'm kind of in the back. And you have to understand, like, our animation tables were, like, so tall that it kind of, like, covered us. Like, you could kind of kneel underneath it and be completely unseen. So when he gave us our first assignment, I'm like, oh! Thank you, sir. I'll get right on that. You graciousness. Oh, the animation is my favorite. <laughs> and he's like, who's doing that? I didn't say a word. <laughs> For an entire quarter, I guess is what we call them. Yeah. I did that to him. Every time he handed us a sign, I'm like, oh, thank you, you graciousness. Oh, I love the animation. Oh, first I draw it, and then I shoot it, and then I animate it. It's so <laughs> wonderful. That's adorable. And literally, he didn't know it was me until the final assignment where he gave me my final grade. And I was like, oh, thank you, you graciousness. It's like right to him. He's like, it was you. <laughs> <laughs> you did this to You've me. You've been doing this. Oh, I know. It's a little funny. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I love Bartok. I'm so happy that he got his own movie. Yeah, I, I didn't, I can't remember it very his well. His name is Bartok the Magnificent. I remember that part. Practically miraculously Magnificent. I feel I have like either. Don't lose your head, Caitlin. I'm not. Don't lose it. I'm not going to lose Put it. Put it back on. I, it's, it's right there. Oh, okay. Your hair is so poofy. I thought your head was falling off. It was just floating away. <laughs> it's floating. It's <laughs> my, so curly. My hair is just. <laughs> um, fuck, what was I saying? I don't remember, but yeah, great, good talk. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs>
I, I don't really remember that movie very well. I kind of want to go back and watch it, but I really liked Anastasia, and then I started noticing animation things, and it made me upset. Oh, like, my teacher spoiled so many <sighs> things, like, oh, there was a mistake, there was a mistake, I like, stop it! Well, yeah, like... Because once you see it, you can't unsee it. That's the problem now with that movie. I still watch it, but it's, like, passive watching, because I love the music. So it's more of, like... I don't watch it because I know where the errors are mm -hmm. now that I've, like, started not studying animation, but I just love it so much that I really watch well, what I watch. once you start understanding how something works, it doesn't mean that you yourself can replicate it. It just right. means you understand the process. Right. And then once you start understanding something, you become more critical of it. Yeah. Like, when I was in QA, like, now I just find bugs in games. Like, there's this one that I... Because I, Bree was playing Mass Effect 3 not too long ago. And there's this one bug that I found. Um, well, there's shit tons of bugs in Mass Effect 3, let's be real. Yeah. Um, but there's this one where there's this lady that's standing next to a bench. And if you go next to her and kind of wiggle between her and the bench, you pop up onto the bench. From the bench, you can fall over the railing. And then from the railing, you drop through the citadel. You, It's great because you hit all three loading areas. So it's like, ah! load, load, load. Ah! Like load, it stops and load, loads each load. level. Ah, and then amazing. you just look up and you just see all of the Citadel and it's massive glory as you just fall into the black abyss. That's amazing. It's really funny. I I'll, wish I could have seen that. I'll show it to you. Um Let's do remind it. me on an next like on another episode. I'll like shoot I'll shoot video of it. Or okay. I'll I'll do it somehow. Yeah. Because it's a specific point in the game, because that person doesn't show up at that specific honestly, spot till later. Because we could just put it in where you had the story. No, 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 we're not doing that, because I'm not going to make that promise and then forget about it. I swear to God, Caitlin, I'll be in the editing bay, like, <laughs> a couple weeks from now, and then I like, get to that part and be like, son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to do it! I can remind you, because I want to see it. Okay, fair enough. Ugh. Oh yeah, we're playing Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, right, we're playing a game. <laughs> oh man, we've been on the worst tangent the last few episodes. But it's great. I mean, it's a nice change from our antics, it's except... A it's a baby! We're just gonna have to be extra derpy next time. <laughs> yep, let's see if we catch the Saxons. Uh, the Saxons? The Saxons? Ah, Saxons. Alright, that's the name. Saxons. Or we could name it a Starbucks. Starbucks! <laughs> Get out. Okay. Out. Okay. Out. 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 Beckons. <laughs> Beckons. Beckons, I beckon you. Beckon, okay. What should we name you? Call him Grand Mar Moth Tarkins. <laughs> that won't fit. Damn it! It's not a reason, like, it's not because of the name, but it's, it won't fit. Um. Mm. Krakens. Krakens. Krakens! Uh, Do you fear death? In your <laughs> Gizzard. In your gizzard. <laughs> <laughs> Do you fear death, Captain Jackson? <laughs> I fear someone who doesn't have a breath mint. <laughs> Insert. <that> Insert. <laughs> I, since I was a kid, I going on like the Jurassic Park ride, I always just wanted to like, Chuck a breath mint into his mouth. No, let's just do a whole pack of Altoids it's next like, time we're there. <laughs> and then we'll get kicked out of your exactly. studios. Alright, we'll see you guys next time. We'll get kicked out next time on Super Geek Friends. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>